higher RPM, you get that third gear lockout when you go from second to third, when you're really trying to either race someone or just get a pull in, get a feel. Now, with the Barton, the Barton shortens the throw by 40%, and it also actually clears that up because the way this shifter is set up is it's not attached to the trans, it's attached to the body. So when the body, when the trans and the motor start torquing, it kind of pulls it out of alignment when you start getting higher up there in the RPMs, and that's what kind of gets uh, that third gear lockout. That's when you hit that little barrier. And uh, you miss your shift, obviously, and you're just mad at yourself and the car. But the Barton kind of the Barton smooths that up. If you if you catch my drift, if you're if you're driving a 5L or even or even if you're driving a 3.7, they're pretty. They're a very good buy, in my opinion. When you're starting off cold, like in the morning. You get a cold start, you drive around. It's a little, it's a little hard to move around, but also that's due to the uh, transmission itself. Even Ford has a TSB out for how uh, when you start off cold, it kind of gets a little rough. You'll feel like a little bit of the synchros grinding together and all that. But they actually said that that's natural. But with the barn, it kind of it's fixes your third gear lockout. It uh, solves. Solves a lot of the shifting issues that you have. It feels kind. Of, it feels better too when you're driving it. You got a 40% reduction in throw. But reverse is a little tricky. Make sure when you're installing the boot back on it, you wrap it around the reverse chamber where you push down and you put it in reverse. Make sure it wraps properly around there because what I had a problem with is the boot went in between that. And I had to push with all my weight down, over, and up to get it in reverse. So once you fix that, it'll solve that issue if you ever had that or come by it. But yeah, I mean, it kind of, it mounts the shifter better to the body as opposed to with that nasty little rubber boot, little rubber grommet is on the end of that. So all the actual linkage system does is hit side to side, slide side to side, and shift and torque with the trans, and it just ruins its alignment. That's what causes the third gear lockout. But when you start banging through gears and you have this, you can hit shifts perfectly. Like, actually really good too, and it feels good driving it. But uh, that is, that's like my official take on it. What I actually thought was all I needed was that top piece, the shifter. I didn't need the bracket get the bracket spend the extra money to get the bracket because in the long run you're gonna like it the bracket is what all, is what helps the third gear lockout that most people expect um, when I did it I also did trans flush I did royal purple it's like the synchronized uh, fluid honestly I'm not a huge fan of the way royal purple feels but I think I might switch back but I'm gonna give it a little bit more time haven't had it really long in here uh, and usually people when they say you use royal purple it stains a lot of stuff but I mean it's just adding a purple tint if you, you do two flushes after that it's gone but that's my official take on the Barton short throw I like it it's really it's a really good buy I would highly recommend buying it if you were me and you own 5.0 and you own a 5.0 and you own a 3.7. It's pretty good for the 3.7s too. Um, that's basically it for this video. That was a quick one. I wanna just, I'm gonna run through like the list of stuff that I did, my review on it, my take on it, whether it's good or not. Uh, in my opinion, this is good, it's a good buy. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day. I'll see you guys soon.